The cause for frozen shoulder is unknown. We know that some patients with diabetes can get a more aggressive form of the disease, but a lot of the patients that I see are not diabetic. Some patients attribute their frozen shoulder symptoms to minor traumatic injuries, but most patients have no history of trauma when they develop frozen shoulder, and it's often a gradual, proceed a gradual condition where pain starts and then stiffness becomes progressive. The treatment for frozen shoulder depends on the symptoms and de can sometimes depend on whether the patient is diabetic or not. If the predominant feature when the patient presents is pain, then often a steroid injection into the joint with steroid and local anesthetic can help settle the inflammation in the joint, reduce some of the scarring in the joint so that the stiffness slowly improves. If patients present later on, where stiffness is the predominant feature, then there are several ways we can take their treatment. We can either reassure them that this is a condition that will slowly get better with time, or if they have significant stiffness, which is restricting their activity and preventing them from doing work or recreation, then a keyhole operation to remove the scar tissue from the inside of the shoulder called an arthroscopic capsular release can be done as a day case procedure to get the patients back to movement and also will help with the pain. I'd expect after an injection that patients would see an improvement 50% of the time in their pain and slowly their movement would recover. If they don't respond to injections, then we often move on to surgery. After an arthroscopic capsular release, a patient is in a sling just for 24 hours until their hand comes back to activity. And we try to get them moving with a physiotherapist as soon as possible. And we encourage use of the arm without any restriction. And I usually see a recovery of full of symptoms by three months.